Hi, this is Shamin here. I'm from Educator Shamin YouTube channel, Facebook page, Instagram, and Twitter. I have so you can follow me there. So in in this video, I'm gonna give you some question as how you can write, and I also explain about different parts of flower. So let's get started. So different parts of flower part. Uh, a flower it has five main parts number one that is thalamus so this is a usually round shape and it's a, it's a developed at the tip of a floral axis floral axis so pedicel pedicel is a flower stalk and the outermost all of a flower is called calyx also calyx each of the part of calyx that is called sepal what's that you must remember that is sepal so if the sepal of the calyx are not separated that is called gymosepalous and if it's uh, separated that is called polysepalous so that is the difference between gymosepalous and polysepalous some are separated some are not some are attached together so that is the calyx so why need what's the function of calyx why need calyx for plant or flower so calyx main function is if is it green color so it's produce food that means green color there is a chloroplast they, they produce they produce food they make um, uh, there is a photosynthesis happen so this is number one function number two uh, is a um, Number two, that is uh, save the inner part of a flower from sun, rain, insect, or pest. So main important, that is that plays important roles in pollination. That is the way direct uh, animals, that is, uh, uh, that is the attracted animals and flowers. Sorry, animals and insects, all right? Actually, that is petals, or you can say corolla. So petals are modified leaves forming the conspicuous uh, part of a flower that is, is look like this, all right? So they are usually brightly colored for insect pollinated flowers. So main function, what's the main function? It's the main function is that it's a colorful, so if it's a bright color to attract insects uh, for pollination and number two that is provide landing landing platform for insects so number four that is androsium so androsium is the male part of the flower so it consists of filament that is bearing on anther what's that that is anther so it's a made up of two lobes each containing two pollen sacs so they are pollen grains and they produce by meiosis. What's that? That is produced by meiosis. Number five, that is gynosium. So gynosium is the female part of a flower and it consists of one or more units that is called carpels. What is? That is carpels. So carpels has three parts, ovary, style and stigma. Carpels, it has three parts. You must remember that. So it consists of an ovary style above the ovary and one and more stigmas and stigma stigma is a swallow structure at the end of the uh, style which cons uh, which receives the pollen grains what they receive they receive pollen grains so ovary consists uh, ovary contains one and more ovules and within each more mature ovule is a female gamete or you can say egg cells that is called ovum all right so guys uh now i'm going to ask you one question what is a pollination this is all about i'm talking about pollination flower is mean all the structure organization everything attract the insects is colorful so what is a pollination so pollination that is a process that is the process of transfer of pollen grains from anther to the stigma that is called pollination that is called pollination so pollination that is also you can say linking pollen so it two types of pollination number one self pollination number two that is cross pollination so what what is the difference between self pollination and cross pollination so self-pollination and that is if the pollen grains are transferred to the stigma of a same flower 
or a different flower in the same plant that is the process called self pollination that is the process called self pollination how about cross pollination when the attachment of pollen occurs in between two distinct flower of a same species that is called cross pollination for example cotton or papayas that is cross pollination that means different plants but same species that is cross pollination so guys i hope that's all for today thank you for watching and see you soon with another new video you draw some diagram and collect some flower different type of flowers colorful flower and separate it bisect it and write down the name of part and label it do some project do some experiment do some research it can help you to understand the topics and draw a diagram and color it all right so that's all for today thank you very much and see you soon with another new video keep watching and keep practicing and good luck your biology test